Today, we will learn to create neural network model using scikit-learn. Then, we will train this model to calculate averages of random numbers. First of all, we will import scikit-learn. Scikit-learn provides various models. We will import multi-layer perceptron regressor from scikit-learn. For plotting and visualization, we will use Matplot library. Let's create a basic neural network model using scikit-learn. MLP regressor means multi-layer perceptron regressor. We will use rectified linear unit for activation. We will use limited memory BFGS for optimization. Iterations are the number of times data is passed through the model. Hidden layers are the layers between input and output layers. Hidden layers contain weights which are reset on every pass to reduce loss. Let's define our training and testing information. A neural network learns from training input and training output data, for example, input training data can be 2 plus 2 and output training data can be 4. Providing a lot of examples, such as this one, will help learn the neural network, how to solve summation. At the end, you can ask the neural network to solve 5 plus 3, and if it is properly trained, it should be able to tell you 8, the right answer, on its own.
In the following example, we have data of random values, and their averages, which will be used to train, and test a neural network. Data, has already been arranged, in Microsoft Excel, in the form, of multidimensional Python lists. Model.fit is used to train the model using training data. Let's print losses to see how well our model was trained. A loss of 0.99 means, our model is 99% trained. Let's test our model, and see, how well it has learned. We can test the model, by predicting the data, we have never used for training. Remember, our neural network model, does not know the answers, to testing in data. Let's plot, actual answers, calculated in Microsoft Excel, and answers predicted by the neural network model, on a chart.
This chart will compare actual data with the data predicted by the model. Our model was able to compute averages with good precision. Let's also plot lost data on the same chart for better understanding of how model works. You can calculate individual loss by deducting each actual value from respective predicted value. Now that we have more than two lines on same chart, it is better to have a legend too. Finally, we have successfully trained a model to predict the average of given random numbers. <laughs>